Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to color select um, <clears throat> on any photo using the app called PixArt. PixArt is available on Android devices as well as iOS devices. So you guys can do this on your phone, on your tablet, or I mean, any other kind of device that you have. Okay, so the first thing you do, of course, is download PixArt. But if you already have it, you open up a picture that you're going to use. The next thing that I'm going to do is go to the draw option. So there's a bunch of tools. Go to the draw one. And then after going to this one, you can either add your own, like a gradient that you get off of Google. You can do this with a gradient or you can actually add your own color, which I will show you how to do <clears throat> both. So you just place the image over what you want to color. So I'm placing it over the hair. And now it's a layer. So you go to the layers panel. This is a layers panel to open. You select it to close. You select it again. And this is a layer layers panel. And um, if you take this off, it will take away the layer. So we're going to leave this layer <clears throat> as it is. Do not press the check mark until you're completely sure that you like it. So um, just don't just don't even use the check mark at all yet. So you're going to change the layer style. I like to use screen. It gives me the best results. And <clears throat> you can change the opacity to make it look less saturated and more real. So this is how I'm going to want it to look. So now I'm just going to close the layers. You don't have to do this, but it makes it easier. And um, just make sure you're on this layer so it'll highlight this. So yes, I'm on this layer. And now I'm just going to close this. Go to your eraser tool. And you can change the eraser settings, make it bigger so it's easier to erase or whatever. That's totally up to you. And you just erase the parts that you don't want colored. So the slide of her head and the top right here. And then you can go back to the layer <clears throat> and just fix the opacity. And that looks a little more real. Of course, um, it depends on the lighting and everything of the image. But usually it should come out like this or a little bit darker because this image has like a lot like very oh, I don't know how to explain it like a lot of highlights a lot of brightness so it's kind of hard to get darker colors but yeah okay so now I'm gonna show you how to manually do it, do it without having to have an image like a gradient or something pre-made so what you do is you create a new layer so right here where the plus sign is add a new layer so I'm just going to add an empty layer, and to the empty layer I'm going to add color. So you go to the bucket tool, and you choose a color, I'll choose purple, now press OK. I was going to color the entire image. Now you change it to screen or um, maybe lighten, and this can also work as a filter, so for example if I wanted to make a kind of vintage filter I would use like a blue and then it would make a filter and then I can just change the brightness and contrast on that um, so it works for many different things so it just depends what you want to do so I'm gonna make her tongue more red so this is screen okay now actually I'm gonna change a different color so you can see better Um, okay, so now you just do the same thing that you did before with the eraser tool. Just gonna erase everything except for her tongue. Okay, so now her tongue is like a nasty yellow and her hair is like rainbow. And 
then it's just working with layers really so if I take away this layer her tone goes back to normal and this is a bad example because I didn't really try that well but I just wanted to show you guys how it would look so I forgot to erase so yeah also if you want to change eye color this will work for that too um, and then you can take away her hair add it so it's just you gotta learn how to work with layers and you can pretty much do a lot with Pixart. It's a free app, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and understood this tutorial. If you guys want more tutorials um, or you have any questions, you can leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.